Hello everyone, welcome to the 4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create interactive map in your Drupal instance. So today I am going to use a model called leaflet. So this will let you uh, create interactive map in your Drupal instance. So first enable, we will enable the module. Go to your uh, terminal and download the module composer. Require Drupal slash interactive map. Sorry, it's not interactive map. It's leaflet. Leaflet. So this model has a dependency of a uh, geofill module. So when you download, the geofill module also will be downloaded. Next, go to extend and enable the module. Here, uh, search for leaflet. So enable. So I, uh, all this model I am enabling here and install. So automatically geofill will be enabled since it has a dependency. Once you enable the module, go to structure, content type. So here I already created a content type called uh, landmarks. In this, I am going to add a new field for uh, saving my location. So that will be a geo field. And the field is location. Save it. Save it. So once you saved the field, you now go to add content of landmarks. Here I'm going to save a location for Chennai. So in Google, you just search for Chennai and then um, click the particular location which you want. So once you select it, you will get the latitude language from the URL. So copy the latitude and magnitude and paste it in your content. Here latitude and then next one is longitude. Copy the both. Save it. So again, I'm going to add one more content. Uh, I'm going to add Suruvanna Malay here. Suruvanna Malay. So search through number here. Tiruvannamalai. So it will get the uh, location. So just click on the location which you want to add. So here you will get a latitude, longitude. Copy the latitude. And then paste it here. Copy the long longitude now. And paste it. Save the content and I'm going to add one more content. So the location will be, uh, let's add Kadalu. So for Kadalu. So, uh, copy the latitude and longitude for Kadalu location. Save it. So now we created almost three content, but when you scroll down, so the content is displaying as a raw text, right? So it, to make it visible as a map here, what you have to do, go to manage display. So there you have to enable the output formatter as a leaflet map and save it. Now go and refresh. So you will be able to see, it will give you the uh, map structure in your view display of uh, node. And also here you have, a, when you click on this marker, so it will give you the pop-up. So to enable the pop-up, you have to enable this checkbox. And here you have to give the content which it want to, it, it should be displayed in that. So I am giving node colon title. So even you can give image, whatever you want, all will work here. So and then give that and then uh, 
update, save it. So now refresh here and now click. So you will be able to see the title which you created, okay? So now we have three contents. So this is the old one which I created. So let me delete this. So here we have one content and in Chennai we have one content, okay? So now we are going to add a view and we are going to add all this content in the view and we are going to display all the location in a single map now. So go to view, add view. So this is uh, in there, add to map. Scroll down. I'm going to create this for landmarks. Create a page. And in the format, you have to select leaflet map. And then uh, it's a fields. Scroll down, save and continue. Once you saved, uh, you have to add a location here. Location. Once you added the location, just click on the settings. And here you have to uh, mention which field is a data source for the uh, leaflet map. So here it is location we selected. And here also you can give pop-up. So pop-up source, uh, it's a content title. Just click on it and then save it. Okay, this is not selected, select and save. Now you apply it and save it. Once you save, just click on the path. When you scroll down, you will be able to see all the location which we created. This is Kadalu, and this is Turvannamalai, and this is Chennai. Okay. So uh, when you click on the link, it will take you to the node page. So this is how you have to create interactive map in your Drupal instance. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.